back when I was a young buck, I was chilling with my homeboy Mike Burton, and we was gonna go out to this club. And this fool had on some suspenders and also a straw hat. So basically, what I had to do was backhand that gorilla with the black hand side. He wasn't having that. wasn't liking it at all. And that's why I'm not allowed to eat raspberries in the spring anymore. What's good, Power Director peeps? Yes, it's that time again. Time for me to bring you guys the fast forward effect using Power Director 19 and Power Director 365. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Here we are in Power Director 19. The fast forward effect lets you speed up clips and play clips at regular speed to make it seem that you're fast forwarding a streaming video, a VHS tape, or a DVD. It's a cool throwback effect that can be used in any type of video. Let's move forward quickly. As you can see, I have a clip on the timeline. This is a clip of me just saying a bunch of nonsense, just like I normally do. So, I want the first part of the clip to play at normal speed, and then I want it to fast forward. So, I want to move my playhead to a position where I want to fast forward to begin. And that's pretty good there. And now I'm going to go ahead and do Control T on my keyboard and split the clip. So this small section at the beginning will be played at regular speed. You want to keep splitting the clip to create sections that you want to play at normal speed. So if I move my playhead to a new position, and I split this clip here, I'll do Control T. This middle section here will be sped up. I'm gonna make that fast. So now I would play it and listen to it and, and get an idea of when I wanted to stop and split the clip again. I already know where I wanna do my split, so I'm just gonna make them real quick. All the splits are done and all of the small sections that you see will be played at normal speed. Next, we need to speed up the larger sections that we wanna fast forward. So you wanna left click on one of these larger sections, go to tools, video speed, And we're gonna change the speed multiplier here and we're gonna change it to 15. So it's 15 times the regular speed. We'll hit enter and then we'll hit okay. And we're gonna keep doing that with the large sections that we created. Now we need to add some TV static into the mix. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this uh, button that says view entire video so that my timeline is extended and I can see the clips that I need to see a little bit better. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and go up here to the effects room. I'm gonna go to third party. I'm gonna go to Boris Effects Stylize. And there's an effect here called BCC Damage TV. I'm gonna left click on it and I'm gonna drag it down to one of the clips that we sped up. Now I wanna make some adjustments to this, so I'm gonna go ahead and Hover over this little eye. I'm gonna left click on it. I'm gonna go down to the effects section and I'm gonna click on BCC Damage TV. And the degraded amount, I'm gonna go ahead and change that to 30 and hit enter. I'm gonna go down to the noise amount and I'm gonna change that to 50 and hit enter. And I'm gonna scroll down to the section that says mix with original. I'm going to change that to 25 and hit enter. And those are all the changes that I want to make to this. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy the effect that I added and all the parameters that I changed to the other clips that I've sped up. So I'm going to right click on this clip. I'm going to go to copy keyframe attributes. Then I'm going to left click on this other clip that I sped up. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to go to paste keyframe attributes. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK to accept that it's going to change over any other keyframes that I changed on that, which I didn't. Then I'm going to right click on this last clip. I'm going to go to paste keyframe attributes. Click OK. And now all of the clips that I sped up have the damage TV effect on it. 
Now what I want to do is add a fast forward button to make it look like uh, somebody pressed fast forward on their TV or whatever when they played it. So I'm going to go back to the media room. And I'm going to drag this picture that I got from digitaljuice.com down to track two. And I'm going to trim it down to the same size as the sped up clip. I'm going to go ahead and place my cursor over this opacity line. I'm going to hold down my left mouse and drag it down until it's at 50. Then I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to go ahead and copy it. I'm going to click on this clip that I sped up. Left click on the track below it. Right click and then choose paste. And overwrite. I'm going to place my cursor at the end until I see two arrows. Hold down my left mouse and drag this out so that it's the same length or duration as the sped up clip. I'm going to place my cursor at the next clip. Left click on the track below it. Right click. Paste. And overwrite. And then I'm going to make sure that this is the same length as this clip. And we're good to go. So. Now, if I wanted to play this back, I could try to play it back, but it's probably not going to play back Club. very well because the alien come out. I just sped up something here, right? So what I want to do is go ahead and render my timeline so that I can play this back and see it in real time. So I'm going to place my playhead at the beginning and I'm going to go ahead and hit render preview. Now that the render preview is done, if you want to, you can add sound effects under each one of the areas that you did the fast forward. The sound effect that I use, I got from digitaljuice.com, just like the fast forward uh, button that I got from digitaljuice.com. And now we can go ahead and play this back and see what it looks like. So back when I was a young buck, I was chilling with my homeboy, Mike Burton, and we was going to go out to this club. And that's why I'm not allowed to eat raspberries in the spring anymore. Things are moving at a fast pace. If you like what you see, I'll leave some links to buy Power Director in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.